See the edge on these shears? These shears were probably convexed on a flat hone. Most stylists would not notice there is an issue here. I don't know if this would even interfere with the cutting. But can you see there's a lot of scratches here and then when you get right at the edge, it's almost like a semi-convex or a slight bevel. So how do you prevent that from happening and how do you correct it? That's what this video is about. I've worked the ride line on these shears and the easiest way to see what's going on is to color in your edge with red. And if you're having a lot of problems with this, you may want to do even more red until you can get the hang of this. So I'm going to do a wider path of red. And my goal is to remove that red in my sharpening. Now there's a trick to it that'll help you do that. If you're putting even pressure going to the edge, can you see I haven't really removed the red back here and I've removed it right at the edge. What I want to do is a little bit more pressure here. Slowly move to the edge and then lighten up. Heavier pressure, a little bit lighter. Can you hear the difference in the sound? I'm going to do this again and be quiet. Listen. Heavy. Hear how the pitch is lighter? That's giving me a better convex shape. Now, obviously, I need to work a little bit more here, a little bit more out there. But I'm getting a little bit more of a better convex. So I'm coming in here, a little bit thinking about this area. If I'm having trouble getting the tip, sometimes slanting it down will help. And these tricks will work on pretty much any flat hone, or even if you're freehanding, although I don't recommend freehanding because you can't know the exact angle when you're freehanding. And I'm lifting a little bit back here to make sure I get that tip. Little, I mean, just like a half a millimeter space here. But I'm making sure this area is touching. When you don't have a burr back here, sometimes tilting it up will help in that area. And then lighter. Heavier and then lighter. Heavier and lighter. So I want to polish my edge and get that nice convex shape. But I'm lifting it up. I'm going to lift it up a little bit further back to get that whole surface and blend it together. And I'm doing even pressure all the way across the blade this time. And let's clean it up and see how it looks and compare. If you can see the bevel on the shear that I haven't sharpened, you can see like a slight flat semi-convex area. And then this one is the one I just sharpened and you can see how it's a true convex going all the way to the edge. Very subtle difference, but if you want to have a true convex edge in your sharpening, that little bit of difference in pressure can make a huge difference in the way the shears look and you're feeling a pride in your work. There's a little slight bevel right here on that blade and on this one you don't see that little bevel. It just is a true convex. This will give you a little extra pride in your work and uh, make you feel a little bit more successful in your sharpening. Please leave comments below of other sharpening things you'd like to see and also comments on this video. Now if you're interested in learning beginning sharpening or advanced sharpening, some of the subtleties that'll make your sharpening go up another step, we teach at Benica Shears and around the country. We also have a lot of videos that should be helpful to you. If you want to watch future videos, it helps if you subscribe, ring the little bell, and that'll notify you when there's a new video out. We try to post them once or twice a week.